Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, we're back to some cold weather again. I mean, it never really, really warmed up, but, but it went from being super frigid to just normal cold, and now we're back to super frigid again. Um, woke up this morning, the temperature was around zero, and the, the wind chill was like negative six, negative eight. Got a little bit of a dusting of snow, but as you can see, not a lot. It's supposed to be like this for a couple of days. And then next week, we're looking at maybe mid-40s and even into the low 50s. So a lot of rain, it says, in the forecast. But uh, definitely a big warm-up from, from this cold weather we've had. With all the things that's happening that we talk about all the time, that you talk about, I talk about, many others talk about, we, we, we're, we're, it's just, it's everywhere. It's, it's almost overwhelming and it's it's getting to the point that I'm seeing more and more people saying that I, I'm done, you know. I, I don't know that it necessarily means that they're giving up, but they're just done with this world, you know. They're, they're done with society. They're done participating. They, they just wanna, they wanna pull their own plug and, and, and slip away. <clears throat> and I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I, I understand uh, where people are coming from when they say that or think that but um as i've said on here before i do believe that there's still a a place and a chance for good people to do good things and i in fact i think that's the the very at the at its very foundation really what's been wrong with this world for such a long time that there's not enough good people standing up there are good people there's good people out there there's good strong masculine men that are full of moral character and there are wonderfully strong um, women that that understand uh, what it means to be pure and wholesome and a wife and a mother and all of these things unfortunately there's probably not enough of them and there's certainly not enough that are they're speaking out when you when you see the moral degradation in our world it's, it's pretty apparent who is the loudest voice and it's not really the good people. And I'm sure that's all by design. Uh, between social media and Hollywood media and the news media, um, I, I'm sure it's all by design. But it doesn't mean that, that we give up. It doesn't mean that we no longer have a place um, in this world. And so it, it, we have to be encouraging to each other. Um, we, we have to see the, the good in this world and see the good people in this world and encourage them. I, I think that's something that, that kind of our movement, the, the, the conservative, biblically-based movement, lacks. And it lacks encouraging each other. I see so much, you know, harsh criticism out there. And sometimes the criticism is justified. I mean, we have a duty to our brothers to to kind of set them straight but a lot of times it seems to be more out of jealousy and, and spite and bitterness and I think that we we need to to see that <clears throat> there's a lot of good people out there still and we need to lift them up lift each other up and, and sometimes that it's that that's the sacrificing our own ego too which is which is probably one of the worst things that that we have is just our ego you know we're we, we, we want to do things that glorify ourselves. And so we have to sacrifice that. And we have to rise to the occasion because <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I'm of the belief that, you know, we were all, we're all here for such a time as this. That we have a purpose in this time period and in any time that, that, that a person is born. And we're there for, for that time, for, for a cer certain purpose. And we have to find that purpose and we need to fulfill that. And that doesn't always mean just, you know, falling into what some of the world is doing. We may not be as vulgar and, d d you know, filled with debauchery like the rest of the world, but the um, the harsh harshness that we sometimes see with each other, I think that that's, that's part of this, this evil worldliness. We need to be lifting each other up and doing good and encouraging each other to become more prepared and encouraging each other to to push themselves. We're all in different places. Some of you are much more prepared than myself, and, and many of you aren't. Um, 
And the best thing that we can do is encourage each other, you know, lead and, and, and encourage each other to, to do the right things or to, to find the best ways to become more prepared, to become more, more biblically sound and have a, a stronger, a closer relationship with the Father. Th these are all things that we should be doing for each other. Um, in viewing ourselves as part of the body, that, that one body, we may be spread all over the country or even all over the world. Uh, we may come from very different backgrounds and live in different places. Uh, but if you're a believer, I mean, we're, we're all part of the same body. And, and we need to be lifting up and encouraging each other. We need to have strength. Strength individually and strength in unity to face the, the, the stuff that's going to happen. And it's going to happen. Um, I have no doubt, I'm not saying it will happen, but I would have no doubt that in my time period, my, my lifetime, uh, we will see believers actually martyred for, for their belief. I mean, we're already seeing it in other countries. You know, there's African countries and in, in Asia where, where believers are, are slaughtered almost daily. Um, but I'm talking about around us. Uh, we, we've seen over the last few years pastors being arrested because they were having church services. Um, parishioners arrested because they went to church. Something that we would have never imagined seeing in the West, but yet we saw it. Um, we're, we're not that many steps further away from, from actually seeing you know, overt physical persecution and even to the point of being martyred for a person's belief. So we're, we're I think, and it's just a thought. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I think that we are we are at that that dawning of a time period where we will see horrible things. We will see things that some of you will live to see these things, and and we certainly need to be strengthening ourselves, preparing ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. But we also need to be encouraging each other. We need to be being there for each other. There, there may be people that are that are physically, geographically around you. And instead of bickering and fighting and seeing the differences, see the similarities and pull together and work together. You know, we don't all have to be alike. We don't have to like every single thing about each other. I mean, according to scripture, I'm pretty sure that the disciples and the apostles didn't all like each other perfectly, right? Um, and they may have criticized each other, but they did not tear each other down. And we have to be the same way. We, we, can't, we can't be each other's enemies. There's enough enemies out there already. We, we have to, to be brothers and sisters in, in, in Christ. And we have to, to be there for each other and lift each other up and strengthen each other and pull together. You know, the old saying, there's strength in numbers. It is true. And that's one of the big reasons why I encourage community. I know it paints you a bigger target. Yeah, okay. Well, if you're living in the right places and you're doing the right things, that's not such a bad deal. And we, we, have, to, we have to get to this point. Uh, and I know that most of you would agree and, and think that you're, you know, yes, yes, of course, of course we do. And, and, and I agree, there's people out there that's doing things they shouldn't or that's, that's causing trouble, or that's not, you know, not pulling together. But we can also fall into that too. We have to catch ourselves. We have to monitor ourselves, keep ourselves in check, that we ourselves are not also part of that problem. The world is, is getting very, very wicked in a, in a very rapid pace, folks. It's not just about the wars and the economy and the immigration and the disease and, and the dollar and all that kind of stuff. It's the fact that the world is becoming a, a very wicked place. I, I think probably uh, very much like the days of Noah and the Sodom and Gomorrah and all, all that kind of stuff. That we all use those terms all the time, but I think they're very real. And I think that, that we are entering that time period. If, if we haven't already, I, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, and it's going to get worse. We're going to see more debauchery. We're going to see more, you know, just sinfulness and and disgust you know perversion we're gonna see it it's it's expanding so rapidly it's it's like it's at a point that I don't know that it can be stopped next to some massive massive event that would happen that would kind of knock us back and maybe that is what will happen I don't know but I just want to encourage all of you to 
continue being a good and when I'm saying, I'm not saying good by the world's standards. I'm saying good by, by fa the Father's standards. Uh, do good and be good and, and seek his righteousness and, and uplift each other and encourage each other and speak of good things and dwell of good, on good things. And we can do that while we are preparing for all of this craziness and, and destruction. In fact, they should go hand in hand. And not fall into the the darkness and the depressiveness and the fear that is out there. Because there's certainly a lot of that. There's more of that to go around than anything. On both sides, both the left and the right. Both for believers and non-believers. And, and we have to guard ourselves against that. And, and encourage each other, encourage our family members, encourage our community. Be there for each other. Lift each other up. And strengthen ourselves against against this evilness that's all around us because it's it's only going to get worse folks and and i don't think that that's being a doomsdayer i think that's just just speaking plain facts we need to be getting our houses in order and preparing ourselves mentally physically and spiritually thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video